Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Bubba Wallace's McDonald's Talladega win from 2021. As always, take a look at the box. You once again just have the generic race version box. NASCAR Cup Series, got your winner sticker and race version down there. 2021 race winner, 2311 racing, render the car right there, standard finish. Total of 1,596 of these things. Standard finish, NASCAR Cup Series, got your winner sticker. NASCAR Cup Series, 2021 Action Racing Collectibles, got your winner sticker. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. A beautiful paint scheme. This is actually the only way to get this paint scheme because, you know, earlier in the year he ran that more white McDonald's car. And then later in the year they switched to this paint scheme, but for some reason they weren't going to offer it. But then when he won, they finally, you know, forced to offer it, so... Luckily to get this, because this is honestly a way better paint scheme than the other one. I do quite like the other one. Like, I did buy the die cast of the original one, but this is definitely a superior paint scheme. Of course, it's come with a few things. You have your little race winner sticker. And here's your race winning stat card, if you want to see that. Picture of Bubba with the trophy. And there you have some of these stats on the back of the card. But now let's get down to the car itself. So this car is important for two reasons. It's a start for Bubba Wallace winning in his first race. But it's also historic because it broke the McDonald's curse. It only took like 30 years, but the McDonald's curse has finally been broken. McDonald's is back in victory lane. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that Bubba Wallace was going to be the one to break the curse? This was a rain-shortened race, which definitely, you know, put a damper on a little bit. But it was really cool to get Bubba Wallace to win a race and, like I said... Just the fact that McDonald's won was like, uh, that was that made me so happy that McDonald's finally got back into victory lane. Something Kyle Larson couldn't even do. That's just a really cool paint scheme. You see the paint scheme, you know, the front of the paint scheme is a box of fries. You get the fries coming out, and the back is like the sesame seed bun from like a Big Mac. See all the sesame seeds back there? Really cool. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have M&M's. Why did you say M&M's? You have McDonald's, got Toyota Camry number 23 and 2311 Racing. Down the side, you have McDonald's. You got Columbia and Root Insurance back there. Got DoorDash and Dr. Pepper in front of the rear wheel. Got a picture of the Big Mac on the C post. On the B post, you have Toyota, Mobile One, Mac Tools, and 2311 Racing. Has your regular contingencies and such up front. On the back, you have McDonald's. You got the Golden Arches. You got number 23, Toyota Camry XSE. On the deck lid, you have my McDonald's rewards with a picture of a phone on the app. Got McDonald's on the roof, which is a little bit wonky looking. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> looks like the like logo didn't like set right around the uh, like roof hatch there, or roof flap. Anyways, this is number 862. We got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. Got Mobile One and Toyota under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck load. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. But now let's get down to damage. There's really not a whole lot on this car. I said this was a rain wind, but also a plate track, so this wasn't going to be super damaged. Well, I mean, sometimes you have the destroyed cars winning plate races, but in general, this one's pretty clean. You see the front is just dirty. Got tons of rubber buildup and such. Got some debris and stuff on the grill there. Down the side again, just dirty. Got a nice mark on top of the uh, number right there. More dirt and stuff. Little rubber buildup around the rear. He was definitely getting pushed a few times throughout the day. There's also some dirt on the spoiler. That's cool. You see the left rear looks like he was getting side drafted or something. There's like a weird little mark right there. Kind of like through root insurance. But more marks and stuff. And again, just dirty. Does have the roof hatch actually decaled in there. But. I said, as far as damage goes, there's really not a whole lot to talk about with this. This car is, like I said, more for the fact that this is the only way to get this paint scheme and the fact that it's Bubba Wallace's first career win. And again, McDonald's curse finally got broken. Don't know how many people actually cared about that, but I really cared about that. So <laughs> that was like, I, I don't know if I would have bought Bubba Wallace's first win if it was just some random, like, you know, root insurance and DoorDash car. I am probably going to get his Kansas win just because it was kind of cool that a Patriotic car won the 9-11 Memorial race two years in a row. But 
that's also the root insurance car is also a car they weren't going to make so that's again going to be an exclusive paint scheme for the race version that's kind of funny that that's happened twice to bubba now i'm really happy that bubba did win that kansas race because i was going to say if like if this was his only win right here his whole career that would have been bad because this was just like this was so easy for the like haters to be like you know well of course he can't win a real race and I was like, man, I really hope Bubba wins a race they can't really make an excuse for. And he did do that. He won a race based purely on speed and skill at Kansas. So kudos to Bubba on that one. That one's also hilarious because there's some of the people, like the, the, the really like hardcore, like annoying haters of Bubba, like some of the excuses they're making are hilarious. Like one of them was that the, uh, the 45 has an inherent ability to win at Kansas, and so he cheated by using the 45 car. <laughs> that was that one made me laugh my ass off. <laughs> I was like, what? There's also somebody that said that Kurt Busch was remotely controlling the car to make it win. <laughs> like, I, Bubba Wallace haters have got to be some of the most entertaining people, just of how stupid some of them are. Like, some of these, like, some of these people, like, you cannot be this. Like, some of these people have to be trolling. Like, you cannot be serious with this. Well, it's like that's how was it Nick Adams or whatever his name is. There's that one guy on Twitter that just will not shut up about Bubba. He will hate on Bubba every opportunity he can and make an excuse for everything Bubba does good. It's it's weird. But anyways, if you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. I would not be surprised if this card gets rare. So this was a pretty popular win for everyone else who isn't a Bubba Wallace hater. The you know, not the Facebook comments. <laughs> but um I would not be surprised if this car gets rare being a unique paint scheme and everything, especially being something like McDonald's. It's, you know, McDonald's cars are very popular. So if you want this, I would definitely pick it up soon. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Just go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's all there is to say. This has been a review of Bubba Wallace's McDonald's Talladega win from 2021. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.